Hi everyone, we are the student of OSH International Medical University and myself Nadir Hussain. Myself Muhammad Hassan Suleiman. Myself Hamza Shams. Today we are going to explain, explain the bone of human, human body and plane and axis that is present in our human body. So uh, the first part of, of our presentation is plane. So there are five planes in our human body. First of all, the medial plane or sagittal plane. A plane which divides the body into uh, two equal parts. Uh, two equal part. Yeah, you, you can see over there a plane which divides the body into two equal half, left and right. So we uh, it is also called sagittal plane. Then we have parasagittal plane, a plane which divides the uh, human body into two unequal half. And uh, then we have transverse plane, a plane which divides the body into uh, superior and inferior half. Then we have oblique plane, a plane which uh, uh, divides the body by making an angle. Then we have uh, coronal plane, a plane which divides the body into anterior and posterior half. Then we have three axes uh, in human body. There are uh, the axes always perpendicular uh, to the planes, and they, along the axis we have uh, uh, done our movement. First of all, we have median or sagittal axis, a sa uh, axis which is perpendicular to the medial uh, medial plane. Uh, you can see over here. This is medial plane, uh, medial plane. And the axis that is uh, that is perpendicular to this, the, it would be like this. It will it will it will make a 90 degree an angle, and the movement of body around this axis will be flexion and extension. You can see over here, this will uh, would be flexion and extension. Then we have coronal uh, coronal uh, axis and axis that is perpendicular to the coronal plane. Here, here is a coronal plane that is divided the body into anterior and posterior half, and if we uh, uh, do like this and it will make an angle it will make an angle like this okay and uh, it will make 90 degree angle uh, angle and the movement of body around this axis will be abduction and adduction then we have longitudinal axis and axis that is uh, that is perpendicular to the transverse plane if uh, here we have transverse plane and as uh, you can see here we have transverse plane and the uh, axis that is you know, perpendicular to the transverse uh, uh, transverse plane here we would be, uh, here we would be like this and the uh, movement of body around uh, this plane uh, around this axis uh, it would be medial rotation and lateral rotation then there are some uh, landmarks in uh, our bones uh, in order to understand the landmarks we have mnemonics uh, People takes teaspoon temporarily cause constipation. P for P for process. You know there are <coughs> some process that uh, that is, that are present in our bones. Just like scapula have three uh, three process: coracoid process, acromion process, and the posterior side we have spinous process. Then we have T for tubercle. There are some tubercle uh, a large uh, small elevation of the uh, bone. Just like uh, numerous have two. Tubercle, greater tubercle and lesser tubercle. Then we have a teaspoon with T for tuberosity. There are some large elevation of the bone and tuberosity. There here we have pubic tuberosity. Over here you can see it is a pubic pubic tuberosity. Ischial tuberosity. Sorry, it is a ischial bone present at the posterior inferior side. We have ischial ischial bone. So it is a ischial tuberosity. Then we have Trochanter, there are some largest elevation of the bone uh, that is present in our body, uh, our body bone. Here we have femur bone and the largest elevation of the bone is the tro trochanter and we have greater trochanter and lesser trochanter. Then we have uh, capsulum or you can say that um, capsulum or crest that is the rounded head and we have condyle and that is the uh, lower part of the bone so these are the landmarks and uh, the which are medically very important so there are also some other landmarks uh, just like fovea and fossa uh, fovea that is a pit at the end of bone we have fovea capitis in the femur bone and uh, we have fossa that is a depression area of the uh, depression area of the bone and the, there are also present in the fovea spine in the femur bone and also have in humerus bone so these are the uh, just a short introduction about the plane and axis of the human body. 
so that is the second part of our presentation so i want to explain first of all the division of bones so actually basically in a mature human there are 206 bones total 206 bones in a human uh, out of which axial skeleton containing 80 bones and appendicular skeleton containing 120 bones and uh, six bones are not including in axial and appendicular skeleton that are including in shoulder girdle and pelvic girdle four uh, bones are shoulder girdle two clavicle and two scapula and uh, shoulder girdle work is only that is its function is it connects upper limb with the upper axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton uh, containing two bones two hip bones that connects over lower limb with the axial skeleton so next one that i want to explain axial skeleton axial skeleton containing total 80 bones out of which first of all skull skull is including axial skeleton first of all i want to explain about axial skeleton why it is axial skeleton because in axial skeleton the total 80 bones uh, protecting over vital organs of the body that's why it is known as axial skeleton so just like uh, our cranial skull containing our brain protecting and uh, thoracic cage uh, protecting over uh, lungs just like this so first of all skull skull containing 80 bones skull is divided into two types cranial skull and facial skull cranial skull having 14 bones and facial skull also having 14 bones uh, and cranial skull having uh, 14 bone out of which 10 are paired and 4 are unpaired 10 uh, paired bones of cranial skulls are two you can see over here two parietal two temporal and three auditory Uh, bones that are uh, the in order to remember the three auditory cranial bones is M I S malleus incus and stapes which are present in our ear that's why auditory bones so facial skull containing 14 bones in which is six paired bones and two unpaired bones uh, so these are the six paired bones are first nasal bone and palatine bone and nasal concha lacrimal and zygomatic and the last one is maxilla that that are the six paired bones and two unpaired bones one is mandible that is which is broken in that skeleton and uh, one is vomba which is present in our nose so that was about the uh, skull of the axial skeleton so next one is the one hyoid bone hyoid bone which is present here you can see here is the hyoid bone is u shaped bone present at the level of c3 and its body parts is one body two greater hands and two lesser hands and next one one sternum bone this is the sternum bone you can see from this skeleton and this sternum bone is a swar like bone uh, which having three parts menobrium part sternal part and that last one zygoid process and in between menobrium part and sternal part we have a angle of lewis you can see from here this is the angle of lewis so that was about sternum bone uh, sternal bone and uh, next one i want to explain about the ribs thoracic cage there are 12 pairs of ribs and containing 24 bones these are the 12 pairs of ribs in which first seven are true ribs and next three are false ribs and last two are floating ribs why first seven are true ribs because these first seven pairs of ribs are directly attached with the sternum that's why first seven pairs of ribs are true ribs and uh, next three pairs of ribs are false ribs because they uh, don't directly attach with the sternum and they uh, attach with the sternum through first seven true ribs that's why they are false ribs and the last two are floating or you can say free ribs because they are free they don't attach with the sternum uh, sternal bone so uh, that was about the pairs of ribs and next one in the axial skeleton last one is that vertebral column vertebral column containing a total 26 bone and in order to remember the five types of bones present in a vertebral column we have a mnemonic can the ladies stand comfortably you know ladies cannot stand comfortably it's very hard to stand if stand comfortable for a lady normally i am not uh, hitting to any one of the lady so it's just mnemonic to remember so first seven are cervical next 12 are thoracic vertebra and uh, uh, next five are uh, lumbar vertebra and that is the sacral vertebra and last one is the coccygeal vertebra 
सेक्रल वर्टिब्रा बाय बर्थ इट इज द दैट आर फाइव वर्टिब्रास बट इन अडल्टुड फाइव वर्टि फाइव सेक्रल वर्टिब्रास फ्यूज टू फॉर्म वन सेक्रल वर्टिब्रा एंड देर आर फोर कोक्सीजन वर्टिब्रा बाय बर्थ बट इन अडल्टुड फोर कोक्सीजन वर्टिब्रास फ्यूज टू फॉर्म वन कोक्सीजन वर्टिब्रा सो दैट वॉज अबाउट द वर्टिब्रल कॉलम इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज स्पाइनल कॉलम एंड इन स्पाइनल कॉलम वन थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू वर्टिब्रा डिस्क इट कंटेनिंग द टोटल वन फिफ्थ लेंथ ऑफ द टोटल वर्टिब्रल कॉलम सो दैट वॉज द टोटल अबाउट द एक्जल स्केल्टन विच आई हैव टोल्ड यू सो आई थिंक यू यू विल रिमेंबर वेरी वेल अबाउट द एक्जल स्केल्टन थैंक यू असलम नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू बिगिन विद माई टॉपिक appendicular skeleton appendicular appendicular skeleton contains 120 bones in which we have two parts upper limb and lower limb upper limb have 60 bones and lower limb also have 60 bones so we have divided upper limb into arm forearm wrist palm and finger these are the general terms we use in our daily life to describe our parts of the whole upper limb so the arm is actually this part okay which contains only one bone which is our humerus after that after that arm we have a capitulum it's a joint and after arm we this part is known as forearm forearm contains two bones radius and ulna one thing we should always remember in our minds that radius is always towards our thumb and ulna is towards our pinky finger okay so after that we have wrist which is this part which contains our eight small bones and these are very small bones which are present in our ribs they contain certain muscles certain nerves are also passing through them certain arteries are passing through them and after ribs we have our palms which have, which are which contains five metacarpal uh, bones and the bones of the wrist are known as carpals bone of the palm are known as metacarpals and after metacarpals we have our phalanges which are 14 in number and our four fingers have three uh, bones and our only thumb contains two bones two phalanges after that uh, in order to remember these complicated bones in our mind we have made two mnemonics related to our upper limb Uh, which are he races until chunky man pace so he for uh, humerus r for radius u for ulna c for uh, car- carpal bones our wrist bones and after that m and p metacarpal and phalanges so and after that our uh, most famous mnemonic she looks too pretty try to catch her and uh, these are the bones of the wrist these are the names of the bone of the wrist in order to keep them in order and in our mind s for scaphoid bone l for neurnate bone t for tricuartal bone p for pisiform trapezium uh, trapezoid and uh, capitate and hemate after that uh yeah that's all for the upper limb so now we are we will move towards our lower limb which also contains 60 bones but there is an exception as we know exceptions are always there so there are there is an exception in our this part that in our tarsus we only have seven bones as we know in upper limb we have eight bones but in our tarsus we have seven bones okay so also we have given our general names to our parts of the lower limb which are our thigh which contains only one uh, bone which is femur and after thigh between thigh and our leg we have a sesamoid bone or a bone lying between the tendon is which is known as our patella now patella uh, it is one in number and uh, after that we have our leg leg contains our uh, leg contains our tibia and our fibula these two bones are uh, now legs and after that we have ankle and foot ankle contains our tarsals 
meta tarsal and our phalanges so tarsals are seven in numbers and uh, meta tarsals are also uh, five in numbers like in our hands and after that we have also 14 phalanges in our small uh, in our uh, fingers in our foot fingers so in order to remember all of these bones and our tarsal bones we also have mnemonic for these words also so uh, from pennies to fives they may pay so f for femur p for patella t for our tibia fibula they uh, is for uh, tarsal metatarsal and our last but not the least phalanges and these are our uh, tarsal bones which are tiger cup needs milk so tiger is uh, t in metatarsal is talus bone c is calcaneus n for our navicular and milk in milk uh, these are actually four bones joined together these are uh, this is our um, what do we say um, we say middle, middle intermediate and later cuneiform. cuneiform these three bones are cuneiform bones and we have uh, middle intermediate and later cuneiform bones so these are three numbers and after cuneiform bone we had our um, what do we say uh, cuboid. cuboid yeah cuboid bones after uh, yeah cuboid bones and these are our, all of the lower limb bones. Yeah, ex uh, one thing is that even though we have our eight, uh, eight tarsal or seven tarsal in our lower limb, we still have 60 bones because of addition of the patella. So that's all I know about the lower limb. And this is the actual general overview of bones and axis of human body, which Sir Fessel exp already explained us, but uh, we are just uh, briefing it a little bit so that our class fellows who are new, that they can understand. Thank you very right. much.